Welcome back to HVAC Shop Talk. My name is Zach Sciotta. I'm standing in front of a condensate pump because Beckett became a sponsor of the show, so they sent out a whole bunch of condensate pumps. So I thought this would be a good time to kind of take a look inside the box, see what comes with a condensate pump, see what they're all about. A lot of us have used these on condensing gas furnaces and air handlers that can't get a gravity fall for the drain. So we're familiar with these, but some people, especially newer guys, may not be as familiar. So let's take a closer look see what these things are all about. First thing out of the box, this particular pump comes with 20 foot of tubing, which is nice, because typically that's about as far as you have to go. So this will get you through most jobs. Next thing out of the box is our condensate pump, and then we have some instructions. Beckett Corporation, condensate removal pump. Yup, that makes sense. A little diagram on the front. The condensate pump has a couple mounting points you can see fastened to the back of it so you can screw it to a board or I've, sometimes I screw them to Unistrut or something like that and they're metal which is nice because sometimes these aren't metal and that gives a little bit more quality and durability. There's a couple wires coming off the condensate pump and that's so you can break a signal through the pump if the pump is malfunctioning or fills up and doesn't expel the water you can shut the system down so it doesn't overflow. You can see that there is a leveling spot so you can see when you're going to be level when you're setting the pump, which is really important for proper operation. You can also see there's a little white lever right here. Pull up on that and you can test the pump, which is really, really nice to be able to do that with just one little simple test. Instead of having to lug a whole bunch of water bottles into a crawl space, I say from experience. This is the model BK221UL, 115 volts. It has a plug on this particular pump. There are 230 volt models as well, and it runs at 1.2 amps. The condensate pump weighs three pounds, 12.1 ounces. On the front of the pump, you see there's this little adapter right here. So what happens is you take your hose that comes with the pump or your hose, it's 3.8 vinyl tubing, and it goes over the adapter. And typically, whenever I do this, I also put a hose clamp right here. You do have to be careful, however, because if you tighten that hose clamp too much, it can break this fitting. So typically, I'll do it by hand and just be very, very gentle with it. But don't leave off the hose clamp because I have found that these can loosen over time if they're not clamped in place and even leak a little bit without the clamp on there. Just remember, tubing like this changes with temperature, and when it becomes very, very warm, it tends to become more pliable and can flex a little bit. So that clamp is very important to have when using this tubing. Another common procedure is to use 3 8 copper when doing a condensate pump, because since the tubing is pliable, it may flex in an attic space and create little dips as it runs and actually kink off because it's so pliable when it gets very hot. So what you can do is you can actually insert the tubing over 3 8 copper, hose clamp it to the copper, and once you hose clamp it to the copper, you have a nice seal and you have copper tubing running, which although does flex a little bit more when it's hot, it's not nearly as bad as the vinyl tubing. When you're running the tubing or the copper, especially the copper because it's a metal, through a hot space and you have cold condensate being pumped out, you may have to insulate it to prevent it from sweating and dripping onto somebody's ceiling, which can cause a really big mess over time. So let's actually get this rig put together and I'll demonstrate how it works. All right, I'm gonna break one of these tabs out. There's actually a little spot on here for a small screwdriver to work its way in here and break these things out. It's pretty easy to do. I have our condensate pump here. I have an amp meter on an adapter so I can see how many amps it runs. It says 1.2, so we're gonna see what the amp meter says. I have the vinyl tubing running from the pump into this large plastic bin so we can see how it uh, comes out on the opposite end. It's a very short piece of tubing and I'll probably set the top on this just so there's no splash, but I want you guys to be able to see uh, the water coming out of the piping. So I'm gonna start filling this thing up and we're gonna see how it reacts when it reaches the point which it's gonna start pumping. Remember to be very careful. I do have electrical stuff right here, so I do not advise you guys try this at home because if there's any splash or I blow myself up, that's fine. But if you blow yourself up, I don't want your lawyers calling me. Mm. 
There we go. 1.05 amps. And there it is. And remember, if we test the pump, we can just hold it down and you hear it run out of water, just let it off. Pretty smooth, pretty powerful pump. The two blue wires coming off of the pump, that's a safety. So if the pump doesn't run and it's about to overflow, it shuts the system down. So you break Y through this or R, depending on how you're feeling that day or what your prevailing sentiment is in the HVAC community. But if we go to check each one of these with ohms, as you can see, there is no resistance because the pump has run, the water level is down, and it hasn't tripped the safety. But as the water rises, if the pump does not expel the water, it will eventually shut down the system as a failsafe. So this is the Beckett BK22 1UL pump, it's 115 volt. This one has a nice plug on it, so you can plug it to an outlet. Does have the safety. I hope you guys understand a little bit more about this pump and how condensate pumps work. If you have any other questions or anything you'd like me to test, please put it in the comments. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, and I will see you guys on the next one. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.